memorize the quadratic formula. This isn't about understanding a parabola or quadratic equations. This is just to learn the formula. Of course, you can use this strategy for other things to memorize too. Don't be afraid to hit pause, especially if you're writing and not just reciting, but do it. Vertex formula is the first part. Snap a mental picture of this with your eyes and your brain. X equals negative B over 2A. Finish it. X equals negative B over x equals negative b over x equals negative b. x equals So, what is the vertex formula? Look at your mental picture and fill it in. The vertex is just the beginning. The whole quadratic formula is next, but you're already halfway there. That part under the radical, the square root sign, is what's left of the formula to find the points where y equals 0. Let's look at a typical equation and what those points mean. The vertex is in the middle, negative b over 2a, negative 8 divided by negative 2, 4. The x for this point is the vertex minus the messy part, and that point is the vertex plus the messy part. So let's etch the messy part on the brain. Remember, it's all going to be divided by 2a. The square root of b squared minus 4ac. The square root of b squared minus 4a. The square root of b squared minus 4. The square root of b squared minus. The square root of b squared. The square root of. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Oh over 2a. Write it down one more time. Take a two-minute break, stretch, yawn. Now, can you finish this? Some teachers will put this on a quiz or a test, and if you don't include x equals, they'll take points off. Be mindful. And practice, practice, put slides on flashcards, carrying them around. You'll never be bored.